In this video, I'll show you how to edit a logo that came from Midjourney using Krita. I know some of you have tried creating a logo using Midjourney, but the logo seems to have unrecognizable words, and you can't use Photoshop because you have to pay for the service. And if you try using Canva, there are only limited tools you can use. So, we'll be using Krita. It's a free alternative to Photoshop. Some of the tools that are in Photoshop is present in Krita. First, we need to create a logo. There's a few things you need to know when creating a design, whether it's shirts, logos, website, you name it. You have to understand your customer. In order to do that, you need to create a persona. But in this video, we'll be doing something simple. Okay, let's create our logo. Head over to Midjourney. If you haven't signed up to Midjourney, you can click on the link above this video on how or I recommend my friend's 80% off AI art course for beginners. He easily explains on how to start on mid-journey and prompts. You can find that in the description below. Now that you are in mid-journey, for simplicity, we'll just create a simple logo. Sometimes simple is better than vibrant. Type this in. Simple Honey Company logo, color should be gold and white. Alright, so since I already typed this in, I already refresh it. And this is the logo that I liked. Now I'm going to save this on the file and then we head over to Krita. Okay, now that we are in Krita, for those who haven't downloaded this, you can click on the link in the description below to follow. Now you can to open the file you just need to click on file, then open. And then this is the our, this is our logo here so I just opened it as you can see it has honey hoy or whatever that is or one those are the things that we need to remove this words and for or for us to do remove that we just need to erase it using a brush now this is the brush I was talking about for that is similar to Photoshop so the circle here you see the circle the mouse it's kind of big so in order to to make that smaller here is the area you can make it smaller so let's try to make it around uh, probably 41 no it's kind of too small 56 oh that'll be fine okay and then here you have to click on this brush and then on your keyboard you have to click on control so that it will follow the color scheme of the background so you just hold control and then left click using your mouse and then from there you just release the control button and then you can start erasing that words or you can just erase everything here there you go let's erase everything don't mind the the blend it doesn't show up we'll fix that later just give me a second here let's remove this so let's make it bigger so that it's going to remove everything here all right so you want to uh what you call this to focus on it on the right side of the screen and i don't know if you can see it there should be a cursor or a uh what you call this zoom in zoom out icon you can zoom in so that it'd be easier for you to see here all right almost done okay now that we're done here let's try to make sure that at least once we're blending it's going to be a little bit uh, what you call this even for everything all right so I'm just blending this in, blending this in. Whoops. If you scroll, sorry, if you scroll using your mouse, it will zoom in, zoom out. Sorry about that. I forgot to do that. Okay. So at looking looking at it, it this isn't, it doesn't show it's blended. So you can use the blend tool here. Uh, where is the blend tool? I think this is the blend. No. Where is that blend tool? Alright, this is the blend tool. It says there Blender Blur. Click on that and then 
just keep on rubbing it and the logo as you can see it's kind of blending you just try to make sure you can press and hold it and then try to try your best to make it blend on the other colors so I'm not going to do everything here just to blend it so as you can see it's already erased now you can keep you can keep the logo like this or of course it's not going to be looking nice it's best you if you want to just extract this icon here right just to make it like, as a logo if you want to extract this it's easy you just go to filter and then click on start G M I C okay when you click on that it will scan the image now don't mind that all right don't mind this all right now we go to search this is a search bar and then type in foreground and this is what you need extract foreground and hit on OK alright don't mind the dots here because I worked on it before so I need you to click on backspace just in case you want to remove it start over okay so that now since that is removed now this is things that you need to know on your mouse the mouse key on the right if you click on the right that will be the red mark that means that you want to exclude you want to remove that but if you click on the right one it will show up as a green dot that's the one you want to extract so this one is to remove the the ones that you don't need and the green one will be the one that you need so I just click on the things I need all right and then if you want to focus or zoom in you just use your scroll on your mouse just click on that and there we go and then for you to check for you to check if everything is okay you were able to select everything you click on the tab icon and then you would see that it was extracted now you see something like this the the ones the white mark circling the icon you can just click on the red mouse just focus on it and then click on the red mouse uh, click on the right click on the mouse and then if you want to move the pan left pan right or pan up or down you can use the mouse uh, the keyboard and then try to focus okay there we go those are the ones that we don't need and then click on again the space bar to process it okay there just keep on refining it until you, that you're satisfied with the satisfied with it let's say you're already satisfied with the image what you just need to do is just press on enter to extract it and from there it's already extracted from your icon here and to, to find that you just click on this one there we go now that's simple you just have to keep that and then click on file and then save as and then test and replace it and then hit OK that's it so if you want to uh, add words on the text or I mean add text on the logo here's what you can do so let's try to go back to it Control Z everything is here alright so we just click on the icon here text the T icon here and then press and hold which area you want to put it the text and then on the placeholder you just put in the name or the company you want to put um, company name you want to put in I'll just put mine all right and then you can click on this to change the size regular text change the size 
you can change also the the text or the font and then click on the dropper for you to check also to change the color there we go and then hit on save now there and then close this and you can see that you can move this if you press and hold it you can move it but if you try to expand it it's not going to expand but if you try to shift it like this on the edge you can change it so if you want to expand this all right so to expand this you have to click on press and hold control and then T and this is what what would it look like if you try to expand and then press and hold which area you want to expand all right so don't worry about the it looks like this just press enter and there we go for more information on how AI can help you you can click on the link above this video and that's it thank you for your time